What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is The Hunt. The Hunt is a 2012 Danish drama film that was co-written and directed by Thomas Vinterberg and was first requested to me by TCG X God on my The Edge of 17 review that I released back on the 24th of November. Well, The Hunt takes place in a small Danish town and primarily follows Mad Mikkelsen's character Lucas, a kindergarten teacher who is popular and well-respected in his local community until one fateful day when a student by the name of Clara makes some ambiguous statements to the school director that hit and some improper conduct between teacher and student. Eventually, Lucas is completely shunned by his local community members who believe him to be a sexual predator and a pedophile, and the rest of the film is spent watching Lucas attempt to prove his innocence to the school, the police, and the community, while we at the same time also watch Lucas fall into a state of despair from these allegations. Okay, so let me just tell you guys, from the brief plot summary I just gave you, you might have gotten the impression that this is a Lolita type of film, one that's gonna be tough to watch because of the uncomfortable imagery that you're gonna be exposed to. But in reality, while The Hunt certainly discusses some similar themes, those themes are taken in an entirely different direction. This film isn't as in your face as Lolita is. And really, if you're looking for a movie experience that's not just chock full of drama and exceptional acting performances, but also one that contains a ton of thought-provoking content and themes, then this is your movie because this film discusses a lot of important issues regarding human nature that are incredibly relevant in today's society. The biggest one being that we live in a society where public perception is everything. Whether you live in a small town or not, news travels fast and the way that news actually travels will lead people to form their own, often strongly held beliefs regardless of the evidence or lack thereof that is presented before them. Although the law claims that we are innocent until proven guilty, in the court of public perception, the reality is quite the opposite. And that's what The Hunt, while a fictional story, illustrates so flawlessly. In the court of public perception, we are guilty until proven innocent, and even if you're proven innocent in a court of law, the public may always view you as guilty guilty and judge you as if you are. Because regardless of the legal outcomes or the flaws in the allegations, many people are going to jump to conclusions and create their own narratives about what happened and just consider those narratives a factual reality. This happens in the hunt throughout the majority of the film where the local townspeople completely shun or even violently engage Lucas because they firmly believe he's guilty of the atrocities he's been accused of, even with no prior signs of any such behavior. And this sort of brings light to the limitations of the legal system both in America and abroad. In that way, The Hunt reminded me of The Night Of because it doesn't take a conviction to ruin a person's life. It only takes an allegation, regardless of how unsubstantiated that allegation may be. I mean, hell, a child could say absolutely anything and make up any story for any reason, and there's going to be many people who jump to conclusions and vilify an individual because they can. This movie sheds light on just how much harm can be done to a person's life through word of mouth alone. And in today's society, reputation means a ton, and a tarnished reputation will follow you around basically anywhere you go. But I also gotta say that Mads Mikkelsen is absolutely fantastic in this film. I can't say I've seen a ton of his work, but each and every time I have seen him act in various films, he always leaves me incredibly impressed with them. And I think this has to be the best I've seen him because he's given that leading role that he's always deserved and he's able to flesh out this character in a way that I'm not accustomed to seeing him do. Lucas is a very well-developed character and that's part writing, part acting, but Mads Mikkelsen does a stellar job at gradually showing us how how Lucas is so drastically changed because of this emotionally draining experience. And sort of similarly to the way that Gone Girl did things, the more you see Lucas react to his current predicament in rash ways, the more you start to internally wonder, did he commit this crime he's been accused of? The film sort of messes with your mind in that way because it's trying to show you how easy it is to get wrapped up in the hysteria of witch hunts and based upon preconceived notions that you may have created or even picked up from someone else, just how easy it is to create your own narrative and apply it to someone else's life. It messes with your mind because you're gonna be sitting there the whole time thinking to yourself like, am I being positioned to identify with a pedophile? And that's exactly what the filmmakers want you to feel and think because that's exactly how a person in the real world would likely feel if they ever felt the urge to defend someone like Lucas. So instead they feel that pressure and just join in on the shunning process with everyone else because it's what's considered socially acceptable. Instead of just staying out of it until the facts come out of the case like we should, we all jump to conclusions and make up our minds way ahead of schedule regardless regardless of the lives we destroy along the way. Human nature is weird sometimes when you really think about it. But to transition back to the film itself, I really was pretty captivated from start to finish because I really felt like I had to know the truth. I had to know whether Lucas committed these terrible crimes, and if not, whether he would be accepted back into this community. And it's kind of interesting because you get a definitive answer to that, but at the same time, an ambiguous one. The ending of this film is oddly satisfying because it provides you closure, yet at the same time provides you uncertainty. And this kind of ending 
really is meant to mirror real life once again when it comes to these complex issues. The level of realism in this film is incredibly high and therefore so is the immersion factor. Throughout the whole film, there isn't really a slow period. The drama just keeps getting elevated and elevated as the community becomes less tolerant of Lucas and his son as they try to maintain their lives in the community among them. And this drama is enhanced by some amazing visual storytelling at virtually every turn. The cinematography is so artistic because the visuals tell such a big part of the story in their own right. But overall, I really enjoyed The Hunt. It's a foreign film that provides you with a lot to think about long after the credits roll. I thought it had some fantastic commentary on human nature, an incredibly dramatic and immersive story, some amazing acting from its lead actor, and some awesome visual storytelling. And honestly, there wasn't anything I didn't like about this film. I'm going to give The Hunt a 10 out of 10 and recommend you watch this one if you're looking for a thoughtful drama film and you don't mind reading subtitles. This is one I highly recommend. It's going to stick with me for a while. So have you guys seen The Hunt yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite foreign drama film ever. To be completely honest, I haven't seen too many, but this one would certainly be near the top of the list for me. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next video.